HTML5 introduces many specialized input elements, all of which can be inserted from the form category of the insert panel. I've added most of them to forms underscore specialized.html, which you can find in the Creating Online Forms folder in the Course Assets. If you look at the underlying HTML, you can see that they're all input elements. The only difference is in the type attribute. For email, it's type equals email. For a URL, it's type equals URL. For a telephone number, it's type equals tel, and so on. This has been done deliberately for backwards compatibility. Older browsers that don't understand these HTML5 input elements simply display an ordinary text input field. Browser support is improving all the time, but let's take a look at what this page looks like in current browsers at the time of recording. On the left I've got Chrome 28, followed by Internet Explorer 10, then Firefox 22 and Opera 15. As you can see, this version of Firefox is displaying everything as ordinary text input fields, but actually it does support these text input fields in a way that I'll demonstrate a little bit later. Both Chrome and Opera have date pickers, so if I click this date picker here, it opens a date picker for me. I can select today's date. It's actually the 4th of July, so a belated Happy Independence Day to everybody in America. Now, if you're an American, you'll probably say, but that's not the 4th of July, that's the 7th of April. Well, I'm in Britain, and my computer runs on the European Convention of Day, Month, Year. But that doesn't matter. When the form is submitted, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, the date is submitted in the format of Year, Month, Day. With the colour input element, if I click this black box here, it opens my colour picker. I can choose a colour, click OK, and then when the form is submitted, the code for that colour will be sent. For range, there's a slider. Now, one of the rather odd things about range is that when you move the slider, you get no indication of the value that's being selected. You need to do a little bit of programming with JavaScript to be able to display that value. One exception to that, at the moment at least, is Internet Explorer 10. If I click my range slider here, it will display 50. And as I move, it will show me the value that has been selected between 0 and 100. And for number, both Chrome and Opera present me with a number spinner. So if I can click the up arrow here, it increases the number. The down arrow, it decreases the number. The date picker and the number spinner are definitely very useful. But what about the other fields? I mean, email is an email. So let's try it with Firefox. If I just type in David in there and then try to submit the form, it surrounds it in red and then says, please enter an email address. It's validated my input, says that's not an email address. It says that's not an email address and it displays an error message. But if I change that to david at example.com, even though it's not a real email address, it recognizes it as being in the correct format. If I click submit, it will send it correctly. And let's try URL. Let's type example.com in there and try to submit. And it tells me it's not a URL. You may say it is a URL. No, it's not. It's a domain name. Most browsers will expect you to put HTTP colon slash slash at the beginning of a URL for it to be valid. Now, with these specialized input fields, there are some other options that you can use. So let's go back to Dreamweaver to see what they are. That error message, please enter a URL, is not very helpful. So if I select the URL field here, and then in the title, type something like the URL must begin with HTTP, that will in some browsers be displayed as the error message. One other thing, let's look at number. If I select that, in the property inspector, we've got some fields here, min, max, and step. So I can make the min 1, I can make the max 10, and I can make the step 2. And if I save the page, 
and then go back to my browsers I need to reload the pages notice that the number fields are now much smaller in Chrome and Opera and if I click the up arrow it goes from 1 then to 3 to 5 to 7 same with Chrome and if I continue clicking I'll get to 9 and it won't go any further but what if I decide I don't like that and delete that value it won't actually let me do it in Chrome let's see what happens in Opera and I put in 15 and then try to submit it says the value must be less or equal it's actually disappeared off screen but it will tell you what the value should be let's just bring that back on screen so we can see it value must be less than or equal to 10 so this is a very helpful validation which is done automatically in the browser without the need for any JavaScript whatsoever now let's just move that aside and try the URL in Firefox it doesn't add that title but let's try it in Chrome and it's given me the standard message but it also shows the title that I added in addition to this automatic validation a major advantage of using these specialized input fields is that most smartphones display dedicated input pads depending on the type so you get an at mark for an email field and a numeric pad for tell you can start using these specialized input fields now there's no need to wait for old browsers to die because they just display a standard text input field.